Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial on search rows action in the Microsoft Dataverse connector in Power Automate. At the time of recording this video, search rows action is in preview and will come out of preview soon. So let's take a look of what this action does in the Microsoft Dataverse connector. So as you can see, I have started a blank flow and I'm keeping it as a manual trigger. So the first thing I'm going to do is add a new step and search for the search rows action. So if I start typing search rows under the Microsoft Dataverse connector, which was recently renamed from Common Data Service, I have the search rows action. Now I select that and as you can see, it's still in pre and we have some fields. So the first field which is required is the search term which obviously means the search term that you want to use. Next is the search type. The two types are simple and full. If you don't mention anything, simple is the default. And the difference between these two are the different types of search terms you can define in your query. So I won't be getting into the details of each of these, but I will link this particular official Microsoft documentation down in the description for your reference. Moving on, let's look at what search mode is. There are also two types of search modes. The default one is any, meaning it's like an OR operator. Let's say you have a complex search term defined using the different operators we saw in the search types. Anything that satisfies your search term, those records will be returned. And if you specifically mention all, all the different terms in your search term, if they satisfy all together, then results will be returned according to that. Again, for your reference, I will link this Microsoft documentation down in the description. Further, row count means the number of rows that should be returned. Let me expand the advanced option. And as you can see, there are more parameters which we will be actually seeing in this demo. But before that, let me set the last parameter that is return row count to yes, so that we know how many records are being retrieved. So let me enter the search term. Let's take a simple example of Contoso. And further, we will add a table filter. Now, if we leave this blank, this action will search across Dynamics 365. But since I want to only look for account and contacts, so we'll mention these two tables. So I mentioned the first one as account and then I mentioned the second one as contact. There we go. Let me save this and we will run our first test to see what we get just with this. Now this is saving. Now I will go ahead and test this flow. Also, let me mention a very important point before I forget and while this is being tested that your Dynamics 365 instance should be enabled with relevance search, which I will show you post we run this demo. And I will also show you what happens if relevance search is not turned on. All right. So let's wait for this particular to finish it has finished, and let's see what results we've got. If I expand the last step, we there are about five records. So if I just click on show raw inputs, I will see what data has been returned. So now, as you can see, the search term I used was Contoso and the type of records I have retrieved are account. There's another one called as account as well. Then there is contacts. because Contoso is written here and so on. So that's how results are written. Now let's explore further and add more parameters and see how our search is modified. So let me close this out and let's click edit again. Now the next we will be adding sorting. Now let's sort by the name and in descending. So you can mention either ascending or descending and the name of the field. 
and the next thing is the facet query so facet query meaning more data or drilling down into the data that is already retrieved so let's say for example i want to know more about contact dot address one underscore city so even account has address one underscore city but whichever results have contacts and they have address mentioned so i want to uh, look what kind of data is that so let's test our results and see if our results are sorted by name in the descending order so let me go ahead and test this out let me start my test let's run the flow again there is one more point that I am still looking for and I will update down in the description is since name is exclusively only available in the account table and not in the contact but contacts do appear so I'm still yet to confirm how they are arranged but I believe they are arranged as the parent account but I'm still not confirmed so I will update down in the description soon so let's take a look at the results so if I click on the results and if I focus on the name field so these are our results the first thing that it retrieved was the contact then there is an account so my conto so M then again if we look at other accounts Contoso Pharmaceuticals P and then finally we have Alpine Contoso so yes the results are arranged in the form of descending order of alphabets and the facet since we have entered this it will just give us the type that was available and what the field name was so since only contact had that particular value so in facet results it returned only one answer for us so that's how facet can be entered and that's how you can enter sorting now one final thing that we will enter here is skip rows so how this is different from the row count is in skip rows the rows and returned will be exactly the same but it will not be shown in the results so let's quickly run this test and I will show you what skip rows actually does so I have to click on done and since we run this query what will happen is it will indeed return the same number of rows that is 5 which we have been retrieving but if you look at the outputs only one record will be visible so as you can see the other the first four rows were skipped and in value only one was returned along with your facet data so that's how search rows can be used there is still a lot to be explored in this action itself but let me put some light on what you have to do in order for search rows action to be running correctly first thing that you need is that you need to have relevance search enabled in your Dynamics 365 else you will see an error like this so let's go into our Dynamics 365 in settings under administration you have system settings which is accessible only to Dynamics 365 sysadmins and in system settings under general tab you will see setup search and you'll have to enable the relevant search as shown by default it might be off so you turn it on and you click OK and now if you go back and run the rest of your flow again there will be no issue so that is a prerequisite and one more important point to note is only those fields will be searched on which are available in your quick find views add find columns so let's say for accounts all the views that are added in the add find columns will be the ones that it will take effect so that's an important point to note i hope this session was useful for you thank you for stopping by and please consider subscribing to my channel thank you